Hey, what is up you guys? This is Anthony here from the Ultralight Backpacker. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo Ultralight Tent. Let's get to it. All right guys, so what you get with this Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo Tent is the tent body itself, the stuff sack that it comes with, some nylon webbing for the corner areas, and it does come with little adjustment buckles as well. What this tent does not come with is a trekking pole, carbon fiber pole, footprint, or tent stakes. But at 24 ounces, who can complain with that? And with the ability to stuff this thing down into almost nothing at all, I'm definitely not complaining. Using some of the Z-Pax Shepherd's Hood stakes to set up this shelter, but just note that they do not come with the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo. I'm also gonna be using this Six Moons Designs custom carbon, carbon fiber tent pole that you can buy off their website for, I believe, $30. And just because I'm always hiking with trekking poles, I will use these two trekking poles to set up the guy lines on the side of the tent for those high wind scenarios. But keep in mind, to set up the shelter, you really only need one trekking pole or one carbon fiber pole or whatever you want to use. It literally takes one pole to set up. As you can see, this is a one-man tent. In terms of a one-man shelter, this thing is absolutely roomy as all can be. I've got my 20-inch Thermarest Z-Lite foam pad in here, and um, with it in here, I've got tons of room to spare. All right, guys, while I'm laying in the shelter here, you can see that full wingspan across of my arm. I can just touch the netting down here at its widest point. I can't even touch with my arm fully spanned. I can absolutely lay my full body on the side where all my gear would go. So, okay guys, on the inside of the shelter, there is a stowaway pocket here that'll fit a big phone, keys, flashlight, headlight, and all that stuff. And on the inside of the shelter, there is a little hook up top here to hang any accessory that you'd like to keep hanging. And another awesome feature on the inside of this shelter is the head height. We've got plenty of head height up here. It's actually out of the frame. Uh, I'm five foot 10 and I'm sitting in the direct center. I've got plenty of head height. The roof kind of comes a little close on this side, but that's okay. It's not a ton of height on the sides, but we've got plenty of height up top here to the side. This is as good as you're gonna get for a one-man shelter. And you're probably thinking, wow, that's plenty of headroom up there. Well, you'd be right. And the reason being is because of those little guy outs right there that we use with our trekking poles. Those go ahead and pull out the head and the foot end of the tent and gives you all kinds of room. It's a lot of room. All right guys, another great feature, the height of the front vestibule here is absolutely incredible. What this allows for is tons of ventilation on those nights where you might get condensation on your single wall shelters. And what it also allows you to do is cook under the vestibule with it closed because there's enough ventilation here. Even with driving rain, it won't get in. And one of my favorite things about this shelter is at night, I'm kind of a light sleeper and I hear everything that comes through my campsite. It's actually nice to be able to have a vestibule that's so tall that I can see what's outside of my shelter at night. All right guys, now we're just doing a walk around. You can see the trekking pole there, down to the shepherd's hooks, all the corners guide out. See the back perimeter of the shelter here. Sort of a flat wall, but it does have a little triangle point like that. And the other trekking pole. Back side of the shelter, coming around to the head end, head end back towards the front. And let's say you guys are having one of them hot summer days. What's great about this shelter is we can open up both sides, let it all sprawl out, and we'll get tons and tons of ventilation.
All right guys, one awesome feature about this tent, which is cool is we can leave one vestibule open if we want to get a bunch of ventilation and we can still cook underneath here. Plenty of room to cook. I've got plenty of area here and I'm sitting with my feet outside the tent. But one of my favorite features of this shelter in the vestibule is something you won't see on the website. By taking this vestibule and tucking it underneath and up, we can bring the vestibule up to about right here, which gives us tons of ventilation and coverage in the rain. So let's go ahead and set that up now. And so now you can see this vestibule is about knee height off the ground. So we have tons of ventilation here. We have tons of viewing angle out from outside the tent at night. We can cook underneath here without having to worry about any toxic buildups of fumes. And the best part is you get tons of ventilation and no moisture in the morning if you set it up like this. Plus, because this is so tall, I can get in and out of the shelter without opening the vestibule. Just like that. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Six Moons Designs Lunar Solo. Just to let you know, I did purchase this tent full price and I have had this out on multiple trips in multiple locations. This is my go-to ultralight backpacking shelter. And you'll definitely wanna check out these guys at Six Moons Design. This is the Lunar Solo Shelter. Thanks for watching you guys. If you like the content, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe. And please, if you feel so inclined, go ahead and check out our Patreon page where I'll be giving away some free gear. That's right, to you subscribers over on Patreon, you'll be receiving some free gear and some contest giveaways. Who knows, the more people we get, maybe we'll be giving away one of those shelters. Guess we'll see. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.